The most important thing is um, not to get into the mode. You know, today students don't know anything. Uh, they will not study, they will not do this, they will not do that. When I was a student, I did this, this, this and that. I mean, we have faculty who got their PhDs from Princeton. It is really, really irrational to compare your life history to the history of a student who is 100% different from you and expect them to do things the way you did. So actually my most important message would be really going back to what I said initially, is to try to learn who the kids are. I am willing to sign the fact that they know less mathematics than what we know. So what? People tell me that our present day students are better informed. My only question is better informed about what? We don't know that, but, but we know that they're different. So try to understand in which way your students are different and uh, go from there. Don't go from yourself. I mean, the way I love math, I did it when nobody asked me or forced me to do math. I have to force 95% of my students to work. That's why we have assignments, that's why we have all kinds of things, right? That's a reality. I'm not going to whine about it, right? I received a letter a few years ago from a mature student who was actually a father of a student I had. He also happens to be a medical doctor. He tells me that he really loved that I gave frequent tests because it forced him to study regularly. So if you have an adult, a medical doctor who needs me to force him to work in the course that he paid for and that he claims to be interested in, by the way, he did really well, then what can you expect of a 17-year-old? So what I'm saying is just have, be realistic about things, right? Don't expect Princeton graduates to sit in your class.